Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Floral Flight Start So what's a floral flight? What's it referring to? Perhaps one of the early levels in World 1. I don't know really. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see. Actually I think they refer to um, uh, the flying piranha plants, I should say the gliding piranha plants in certain spots. Or maybe they're just talking about flowers in the background with Koopas flying in the foreground. Who knows? Who knows? Because I could be thinking of a, another level, which is why I'm thinking of the flowers flying, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, uh, grabbing red Koopas allows you to breathe fire like so. Pretty nice. Oh, no, no! That was close. <laughs> Very, very close. I was getting ready to Yoshi jump there when I seen the, uh, when I seen the line disappearing there, but no. Uh, uh, not quite high enough. Oh, no, not quite high. Oh, shoot. You're in the way. You're very much in the way. Okay, I made it. Not difficult to make, but I made it. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I was a little bit off key there, but whatever. I think I need to hit this. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> um, don't really feel like hitting those blocks and losing my Yoshi potentially. So, oh, that was close. Very, very close. Oh, I lost my Yoshi anyway. <laughs> but I survived. I survived. Another Yoshi to replace the one I just lost. Good thing it despawned. Because otherwise I would just only have gotten a 1-up from that block. Yeah, don't hit a block too quickly that might have a Yoshi in it. Um, or that has a Yoshi in it, excuse me, because uh, it'll just be a 1-up and you'll lose both Yoshis. And yeah, <laughs> you probably won't be too happy about that overall. Uh, mm, mm, mm. A lot of flying critters. I'd kill them off, but it's kind of... Oh, dang it. Kinda, ooh, no, 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 want to go up here. Most certainly, certainly you want to go up here. Uh, those, I believe once you get 30 coins in a level, you'll get a prize from those green star blocks, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about the number there, but it's it's definitely uh, based off of coins, if I recall correctly. Yeah, <laughs> And there we go. It's already over. Yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty quick. We're done. No secret exits. How sad. But that was fun. Flowerless forts? No, 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 no. We're gonna go and take this pipe now. Where does this pipe lead to? <gasps> world 3. Well, technically this is still World 2. Volcanic Lake is the level that I'm going to be doing now. It... This doesn't look volcanic at all. <laughs> I suppose there's that grape juice that's boiling down there or grape jelly that's boiling down there or whatever but this this doesn't seem like a volcanic lake it just seems like there's a lot of cold and cold doesn't remind me of volcanic oh shoot 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. good thing I remember there's a platform down there with the dragon coin uh, actually there was a bunch of coins uh, over here that I took very quickly uh, they, they pointed down to where that was, and there's also that coin down there to indicate that there's something down there as well. So, yeah, that was a pretty good reaction time on my part, since I was kind of initially thinking about ignoring that. <laughs> no, no, I didn't have to. Like, by the way, these skull rafts have always been, always been really weird in Mario, uh, Mario World. Look, the, see that third skull? It always jitters more... What happened there? <laughs> It always jitters more um, than the other skulls for some reason. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that was programmed that way, but it does it consistently. So I'm kind of kind of at, at a loss at what, whether or not that was actually done on purpose or not. Uh, but it always happens in hacks and whatever, so it's it's something for sure that just is there. Ooh. Ah. Ho ho. By the way, you can tell when the blocks are solid when they're completely gold rather than just having uh, little diamonds. So, yeah, 
that's the way that they uh, differentiate between the switch blocks in this game. Anyway, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, I'm actually sliding a little bit on on these, so that's what happened. But why am I ah? Why am I sliding on those? It's kind of I don't know. Is it is there ice physics in this level? I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, there probably is because it's an ice level, but I haven't really been noticing. Yeah, there is ice physics. Well, that explains it. I wasn't paying attention at all because I was just kind of like coasting through everything, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you would think that I would think that there would be ice physics automatically because, you know, there's, it's an ice level, but <laughs> didn't really come to mind for some reason. I don't know. I guess I was just being dumb. <laughs> just focusing on the non-volcanic lake, I guess, <laughs> as a joke or something, I don't know. But yeah, um, the skulls, when combined with ice physics, do that. I completely forgot about that. And that's probably the idea of having the ice physics in with uh, quote-unquote lava. <laughs> so yeah. No, 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 no swoops. Nope, 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 no supers. Nope, nope, not gonna happen. Oh, oh, oh there's the end. Uh, is there anything that I missed, like, say, in that pipe? I doubt it. Uh, maybe that pipe was, like, an alternate secret route? Maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably, because I missed a dragon coin somewhere in that. Hmm. Eh. Mm. Not really important. <laughs> All right, completed. And where does this pipe lead to? It leads to the castle, which I was going to next anyway, the flowerless fort. I guess this is like the, the flower level of sorts. That's why I keep mentioning flowers uh, around this place. And uh, here's some Koopas on fences. Oddly, they cannot be defeated by throwing stuff at them. I always found that, found that kind of weird. But look, and uh, yeah, pressing the Y button will let you um, Whack stuff uh, if they're on if they're on the other side. You can also switch sides using that. And yeah, but hold on, I just want to check something. I'm gonna, hmm. I'm just checking the seat. Yeah, holding up does let me grab onto the grates. Maybe it was my Xbox D-pad that was messing with me on. Uh, um, the, I think it was the dead. Oh shoot! Didn't have enough speed. Maybe it was the Xbox D-pad that was messing with me on the dead disco, and I thought it was holding up when I actually wasn't holding up. But the, because the game, the D-pad thought I wasn't uh, pressing up due to its poor design. <laughs> and yeah, that might have been what happened to me before. Like I'm sure I pressed up there. <laughs> I bet that's gonna be a, a thing throughout this entire walkthrough uh, because I'm gonna have to to be on like vines and stuff like that you know through the whole thing so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up falling to my doom because I'm thinking I'm pressing up when I'm not when the when the d-pad doesn't think I'm actually pressing up and then I'm gonna end up falling in a hole like that or uh, falling into a uh, lava or something like that yeah it's, it's gonna be fun <laughs> Oh, Microsoft. You really should have tested this controller before releasing it to the public. I wonder if there's like a mod that I could do... I wonder if there's like a mod that I can do to the controller that can, um... Uh, improve the accuracy of the D-pad. I'd be more than willing to do that. <laughs> I mean, the controller is out of warranty, so I wouldn't mind popping it open. <laughs> eh, but... You know, obviously, people shouldn't have to do that to begin with. It should be made properly to begin with. <laughs> when you press up, you should be going up. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna press up. Okay, I pressed up. <laughs> I was successful. This time. <laughs> but who knows what'll happen in the future. This is kind of a, kind of a gauntlet of sparkiness. Mm. By the way, um, we're obviously looking for another secret exit because, as I said before, castles in this game have sec oh shoot secret exits to them. I missed out on the flower. That's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's okay. I've got the cape. I'm not gonna use the cape though, unless I really um, want to get through a jump with relative ease. Mm. No, 
I jumped too late. That was my fault, not the D-pad. Because I pressed down properly to get myself squinched down below the ceiling, but... No, 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 it's... It just... I, I betrayed myself. And why do I keep going over there for stuff? I know there's nothing there. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, there's the, the dragon coin and all, but... I'm not really interest, interested in the dragon coins, especially since... Um, uh, there was a few mistakes made in this game, actually, in the way that it... Uh, in the reloaded version, um, because they, some of the, some parts of levels got moved over to other parts of levels, um, FPI kind of forgot to move some dragon coins along with it. So some levels, like would say, um, that had parts moved over into it, have like we'll say seven dragon coins, and the parts that were lost on other levels will have like three dragon coins. <laughs> So, dragon coins aren't really the most important thing in the world um, in this game, obviously, <laughs> because they're an oversight. So, uh, yeah. Okay, here you go. Alright, now we're making progress, and there's the midpoint. Uh, yep, that's where the secret lies. Can I make it to the secret? Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> it's another portal! Ooh, with ghost house music. And sure enough, it leads to another portal. Back in the castle we go. Well, fort. But forts are sort of like castles. In fact, they are kind of like a different version. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> are forts considered a castle? Probably. Maybe. Anyway, I didn't bother to to take the other out because I had enough power-ups this time. And yeah, my my D-pad is probably going to be the death of me a lot here. <laughs> uh, I probably should grab this. Wait, maybe not. I was going to say maybe not here because I have to deal with spikes. Well, now I lost everything. <laughs> the decisions I make sometimes... Sometimes I just question myself, like when I'm making videos, because I'm too distracted thinking of stuff to say and how to play, and I don't know. Rush, I'm going to grumble the way, the whole way through. <laughs> I knew that was coming, but I was kind of feeling impatient. Anyway, all I want to do is make it to that midpoint now for obvious reasons. Oh, but I would like something in here, if I can get it. There we go. Just to play it safe. Now, isn't there something... Oh, no, wait, I thought there was, gonna... thought there was a power up there for some reason. I could just regular jump these. I don't have to duck jump or anything like that, so it's relatively safe. And look at that, I made it! I don't suck after all! To an extent. Oh, Kamek! Well, it's a magic Koopa, but it could very well be Kamek. So he's gonna be shooting magic blasts at us. Some people like to call them PlayStation buttons because they're it's like a triangle, square, and circle. And maybe an X too, I'm not sure. <laughs> but he shoots shapes out of his magic blasts and they remind us of a certain Sony controller. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, they remind some of a certain Sony controller. I'm gonna try and... Yeah, ah, I was too late. <laughs> I was trying to bait him to go shoot up there, which worked to an extent, but I just, you know, failed my, my landing. <laughs> I should say that failed the e execution of that. Well, let's keep uh, scrolling until it scrolls all the way out. Oh my god, I really will. <laughs> Yeah, Morton is this? I think it's... No, wait, not Morton. Um, maybe Roy? I forgot the Koopa Kids, but it doesn't matter because I won already. <laughs> yeah! And with that, World 2 is complete. And we're gonna get a lovely little cutscene. It looks incredibly familiar. Holy moly. Mario is powerful. Morton Koopa. Okay, so it was Morton. And Morton Koopa Jr. is now just a memory. Hopefully the flowers in the plateau can peacefully bloom again. 
Meanwhile, Mario's journey leads him inside the legendary Donut Volcano. Of which I'm going to start in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.